Hello, it's currently day 86 on board and today I'm coming at you from the lovely sunny bow of the Grasmere Mask where I thought I'd come and present and get my monthly dose of sunlight. At the moment we're heading along the Florida coastline from Jacksonville to Miami and there's loads of dolphins which is cool. Apparently there's also whales out here as well because we keep having to slow down to 10 knots in case we hit one but they have so far proved elusive which is a disappointment. It's been a busy week on board. We finished our crossing of the Pacific and arrived at the Panama Canal ready for our transit, which took about 10 hours. I managed to escape from the engine room for a couple of hours to see what was going on. It's pretty impressive considering it was built over 100 years ago. The canal consists of six locks, three up and three down, which take you to 26 meters above sea level. In between the locks are 48 miles of man-made lakes and canal cuts, which allow you to take a shortcut through Central America. Otherwise, it would consist of a 7,000 mile trip around the bottom of South America and then back up again until we reach the east coast of the States. After arriving in the Caribbean Sea, we had a barbecue up on the bridge to celebrate the captain's last week on board before retiring. Although I don't really think it counts as a barbecue if you don't have any beer. After that, we headed around the western tip of Cuba and northwards onto Savannah, Georgia, where despite looking absolutely nothing like my passport photo anymore, I managed to get through customs and get some shore leave to go for some proper food where I tried some alligator. You just... Tastes like, like chicken. Though. Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken. We then headed on to Charleston where the Coast Guard came for our inspection, which was surprisingly laid back and not worthy of all the stress and all the effort that was put into cleaning the ship beforehand. We then celebrated our inspection pass by going ashore and observing the local nightlife, which was good fun. We ended up getting a shot in the back of a pickup truck, which was way too exciting. Remember, I've not been in any sort of other moving vehicle other than the ship for over about two months now. After that, we headed south down to Jacksonville, Florida, where people shout yee-haw a lot. Yee-haw! And then we went to Walmart and I bought my entire body weight in chocolate, which is not going to help the gains in the slightest. So all in all, it's been a busy week on board and ashore. I'm totally exhausted. All the arrivals in the port have been at about three o'clock in the morning. So I've been getting about three hours worth of sleep every night. And then instead of resting during the day, I've been going ashore and having fun. So it's been a busy week on board, but it's been good fun. It's been good to get ashore and see some of the world instead of just passing it by. I can imagine if I was stuck on this ship for four months and didn't get off once, I'd go absolutely mental. Tomorrow we should get to go into Miami, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. I think I'm gonna go for a swim in the sea and probably go to Hooters, which will be ace. Anyway, until next time, ciao.